Hi, Tony Meyer here with your quick real estate market update. Well, as I record this video, the Seattle area is on the eve of what's likely the hottest few days it's seen in many, many years. And the reality is the weather is actually just catching up with the real estate market because it's the hottest market I've seen in 32 years. I'm gonna get into the numbers in just a second, but before I do so, I wanna talk about gratitude and we are very grateful for your referrals this year. That We've gotten a bunch of them and, and I wanna share with you kinda of a little bit of a story on how we're serving those referrals because when you send us a referral, you wanna know we've taken great care of them and I wanna show you how that we're doing that and I can do that really easily on the seller side of the equation. So, so far this year we've received 15 seller referrals uh, that are, we've either closed or are in contract at this point. And I wanna show you the results. So um, we motivated a total of 681 brokers to show those referrals. And we generated a total of 123 offers in an average of six days for those 15 homes. So how does that turn out into sales prices? We're gonna show you here. So our average client sold their home for 22 0.43% above the list price. And we're very proud of that number, especially when you look at, yeah, it's a hot market. The average home is selling for 15% above. We're selling for 7% higher than the average. That's real dollars in the pockets of the people you've referred to us. So thank you again. We really do appreciate it. And of course we serve buyers. We've helped a number of them get into contract this year. Uh, so thank you for both those referrals. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the numbers. As you know, if you've watched our previous videos, we talk a lot about months of inventory. We're gonna go into how that looks. Anything under two months of inventory is a seller favored market. And we're really in that market on steroids. So first of all, Eastside, it's down 73% to three tenths of a month of inventory from last year. Seattle is down 50% to a half a month of inventory compared to last year and Snohomish County is down 57%, down to three tenths compared to last year. Uh, all these numbers are just phenomenally hot and really record setting. There's no doubt about it. We are either right there or very close to record level numbers uh, in this marketplace. So what, what's happened with prices? As you can imagine, they have gone up quite a bit compared to last year. So the east side is up 38%. Seattle is up 20%. It's a little slower to respond, but you're gonna see as we look at some of these numbers, that's starting to change. Snohomish County is up 35%. So at the road ahead, what's, what do I see? If you watched last month's video, you saw me talking about, I felt like inventory might start to build. And wouldn't you know it, may just seem to erase all that and we got tighter, which is really uncommon. If you look at typically in a year, March is the tightest months of inventory that we have in any given normal year per se. And then it tends to ease up in April, May, and then we tend to build inventory in the summer. So we're just not doing that. And I'm gonna show you the numbers right now. Uh, and, and before I talk a little bit more, I wanna share this. There's really two things that have to happen before our market will see any substantial changes. One, we've got to see a lot of listings come to market. And two, we've got to see pending sales slow down. While we're seeing more listings come to market compared to 2020, we're well behind 2019 in most marketplaces and pending sales are very strong, well ahead of 2020. And we really probably would be ahead of 2019 in many areas we just had enough houses to sell. So uh, again, east side numbers, you can see our listings are still way down compared to 2019. Our pending sales are up compared to last year, down from 2019. We just don't have enough houses to sell. Seattle uh, listings are climbing, still off from 19. Pending sales though are through the roof. And this is what I was saying, Seattle starting to recover. As people rethink having to go back to work they're really reconsidering maybe purchasing in Seattle. When the pandemic first hit, people were exiting the city because they wanted space. That start, those dynamics are starting to change. And Snohomish County is still the affordable side of things. Um, we're seeing listings well off from 19 and pending sales, strongest they've been in three years. So, uh, you know, what does this mean in closing? Well, if you are a seller, you are in the driver's seat. This is the time 
to capitalize on the marketplace and make that move. We've had many clients relocate across the country, whether it be to meet near family or to retire and really rethink and revisualize what their life is going to look like. And now is a great time to do that. If you are a buyer, it is a hard market, no doubt about it. We've helped buyers succeed this year, but it is challenging. And, and I think you've really, as a buyer, have got to make some hard decisions quickly in this marketplace. Size up what you can truly afford, not look at list prices, but what they're really selling for. Look at your budget, size up what you can afford and make a decision quickly because the chances are that it's gonna get any cheaper in the future is really, there's no signs that that's gonna be the case. So. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this month's video. We are here for your buyer and seller referrals. We love all those clients that you send to us and we truly appreciate you blessing our lives with those people that you trust to entrust to us as the case be. So we're here. If you have questions, give us a call 425-466-1000. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the summer months ahead. We'll be talking to you in July with another update and stay cool over the next few days. Take care.